Hey friends, we are together are going to make one of my favorite soups of the season. I call it healthy and homemade healing chicken soup because one sip of it just kind of takes away all your woes and I love it. I hope you do too. This one is dairy free. It has no grains. It's basically chicken that falls apart in your mouth and then a lot of juicy, delicious, flavorful vegetables. It's very velvety and here's how it starts. I'm going to make a half recipe for you right now. I've got a full one done in the pot right here, but what you're going to do is put some olive oil in your pan, get that heated to medium high because you want to sear the chicken breast. See this golden color I've got on it? Salt and pepper both sides. Sear both sides of the chicken. Let me get our heat cranked up again and then remove that. So usually I do four chicken breasts, remove them, set them to the side. And then what you want to do now is take about eight to 10 cups of chicken broth or stock. You guys know how I am with the brown bits on the bottom of the pan. You just want to take your wooden spoon and do this number to get those flavorful, delicious bits up and it's going to really flavor the soup. Get the rest of that liquid in there and now the rest is really just chop and drop. So I take the vegetables that need the most cooking time first. So lots of fresh carrots, and if there's something you think you don't like here, you can leave it out, but I would highly encourage you to put all of it in. A sweet onion, this is the best. Butternut squash, if you have a butternut squash, you don't know what to do with it, make this soup with it. Just dice it up. Uh, my kids and family says that a butternut squash, Phil, cubes yeah. look like Velveeta cheese. A little bit. I thought and I was going to ask you that. Actually. They're so very is it cheese. Or? <laughs> mm -hmm. No, you won't see me using that, but you will see me using lots of butternut squash this time of year. Would you open that for me, by the way? Sure. Okay, so you are going to let this bubble okay. for about 20 minutes. All right. Yep. I'm going to add a little bit more liquid to this, and then some other kinds of squash: zucchini, yellow squash. Let's see if we can get this boiling for us. I'm speeding up the recipe for you, but you're going to be able to see this whole thing online. All right, so mm -hmm. get those in. And then at the very end, we finish it with fresh spinach and oh, it wilts down. I love okay? fresh spinach. It's awesome. Yeah. Don't forget salt. Yep. Okay. And then the only other seasoning is poultry seasoning. This is, oh. this is like Thanksgiving in a container. Oh, okay. I mean, it's so, smell it. It's got like rosemary, mm. thyme, um, all those good Thanksgiving herbs dried down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a few teaspoons of that. And I've got all the measurements for you already. And then what we're going to do is shred our chicken. There's okay. something about shredded chicken. Yes. And add it back to the pot. Oh. Okay? okay. So it's tender, juicy, flavorful. It kind of falls apart in your mouth. Yeah. Traditionally, you guys, I am not a big fan of just broth-based soups. I'm more of a creamy. Creamy, like, yeah. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. the like hearty, rich soups. Right. But this one. This one's good, huh? Yeah. When I came up with it, it just won me over. I really liked it. The chicken. Um, mm-hmm. So see this fall apart chicken? Let's, yeah, there you go. Okay. And then you add that back, okay? Uh -huh. So I've sped it up for you, but let me show you what it looks like when you dip it out of the bowl. Nice. And I also want to tell you, so I've gotten, Phil, lots of comments about the soups this week. Yeah. Tons about the it. black bean one. Oh, the black bean one was great. I mean, a couple ladies sent me a message and said, I'm going back to the store tonight to, to make get, more of this stuff. It was fantastic. And then freeze it. That one um, was on what, Monday, right? That was Monday. So Wednesday then, you guys, we did a creamy, it was like a roasted cauliflower red too. pepper. Yeah, yeah. And some guy came up to me, one of our viewers, and he said, Nessa, <clears throat> you almost persuaded me to eat cauliflower. Oh, almost. almost. <laughs> I'll mm -hmm. get him there. I know I can. Okay. But um, so that was a good one. And then this yeah. healing chicken soup. Oh, yeah. The last one of this week. Next week, Phil, I'm starting all holiday baking, Thanksgiving all nice. the way. So you're going to want to stick it here because there are no fail recipes. Mm -hmm. This would probably burn your mouth right now. So I'm not going to let oh, you have any okay. just yet. All right. But it's good stuff. The recipe's on our website. And it smells yeah, good. it does, doesn't mm -hmm. it? It just has that warm smell, especially for a chilly yes. weather like we're having tonight. Leave it simmering on the pot all night. People Why not? Just eat on it all. Yeah, I'll leave me. I wish we had well, smell-o-vision. I wish the folks at home could I smell. It smells Maybe delicious. Maybe someday. All right, stick with us here.